drink, 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 give us alcohol. Give us We need to drink Jack Daniels, part two. Hey, do you like whiskey? No. What, what, what I don't know, it makes, it just makes me do the, what, you know? The I can't explain it. I actually can't explain it more than it just makes me go and You can see that we're drinking because Seamus has got his celebratory top on. So that's, <laughs> the is, drink, that's the drinking shirt. I'm a fun guy now that I'm wearing this shirt. We can all tell. Why yeah. are we still talking? Bring us the alcohol. Bring us the booze. OG MVP Jack Daniels. This is definitely the Sean Connolly measure of alcohol. Oh. This is Jack Daniels, okay. Oh, I mean, I've never drank before, so I don't know what to expect. I think it's gonna taste like candy. No. <laughs> Sugar maple charcoal. I'm oh, reading. I mean, <laughs> but the whiskey's talking to you. This is like the worst library in the whole world. It says tested here. Imagine your job was just to drink whiskey all day. I mean, it's kind of, kind of this, isn't it? Yeah, true. You'd have to be sober enough to have an opinion on it, though. Ugh, so do we. Uh... <laughs> Cheers to Chimpanzee. Cheers, Van Slodge. Oh, we weren't choking. <laughs> Yes, we are. Let's run. Oh, you're just having a sip, okay. Yeah, because you, you, you don't just glug whiskey down. I guess we are. <laughs> chug, 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 yay! Hi guys, I'm, I'm just being bullied now into slugging some whiskey. What the hell like, did you expect? Also, you don't have person. to do this. You don't no, have to do this. I want to. Yeah, I knew it! Dermot like drinks that, like Dermot Martin like would drink that like a, like a regular drink. Yeah. It's whiskey. It, it is whiskey. It's yeah. very kind of, I don't know, like, oh my God, my body just made a noise. Your body literally just went Rrr. Not again. <laughs> she downed it, she could have sipped it, but she fucking chugged it. I will say that was nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be because I don't like Jack Daniels when I just sip it, but as a shot, it's fine. Should you be taking shots of whiskey? Because again, it's made for like a real, you know, sitting by the fire, hmm, gonna have me a cigar. Um, so I don't know if you're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna jack that in. She's pretty warm, but not like, oh God, uh, I'm like emotionally warm, not like physically warm. Oh, oh. my fucking, Jesus Christ, Sean, learn how to measure and how to pour. That's apparently one measure in Sean's eyes. But it's actually like fucking three in one glass. Oh. I do not know that Jack Daniels did flavory thingies. Oh, oh shit! Tennessee apple. Oh, I'm sorry if the accent, that was bad. Tennessee apple has the distinct character of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey, coupled with crisp green apple for a fresh and rewarding taste. What is this? This is like, I don't know how much alcohol. One sock? One, one sock, yeah. One, one sock, sock. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sip it first and then I'm gonna take the whole shot. Okay. Oh, that's delicious. That is goddamn delicious. Woo! That is so much nicer than regular yeah. Jack Daniels. Better than the last one. Yeah. Cause I mean, it's not as <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. You see, I was expecting the sickly, really artificial apple flavor, but it's not, it's a much nicer apple flavor. Less, you know, but you're losing like 5%. You're gaining so much more flavor. It's so nice, yeah. Oh. Did you drink it out of toast? I mean, we're doing it right now, Sean. You already know the answer to that question. But you, you wouldn't expect it to be that much smoother just by removing 5%, because no. that was very smooth. This is why you need like an actual like measuring thing, because you're just like, oh, I've had two drinks. Oh yeah, no. you're blaming the measures, not the downing. I just I just couldn't see myself drinking a whole bottle of it. That's the issue. I mean, I don't see myself drinking a whole bottle of most things. Like, I don't get this and go, yep, this is all I'm doing tonight, you know what I mean? Oh honey. Sweet for my sweet, honey for my honey. Get this down in my tummy. I know I, a second ago, said, why would you drink a whole bottle of something? Uh, I once drank almost a whole bottle of this. This is very sticky. And uh, do not remember the day after, so there you go. I feel like the honey is gonna be weird. It smells weird. This kind of reminds me of mead, 
which is made out of honey. So, uh, what voice are you going to have to choose? The voice of Kelly Hughes. Oh, okay. Uh, this fine Tennessee honey liqueur. I thought you were going to do toad. This fine Tennessee honey liqueur has the distinct character of Jack Daniels whiskey and liqueur with notes of honey for a smooth and rewarding taste. That's pretty good. Happy? Yeah, yeah. That was a Mario house party right there. Fantastically well. It's actually yummy, yeah. Yeah, it's really yummy. Oh. 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 Yeah, okay. That was surprising. Oh. Definitely smoother than the apple, if you ask me. Um, Shocked my system. And it's not sickly sweet. It's not cloyingly sweet. It's just this nice note of honey that carries over all the way down, glides down your old uh, throat hole. Uh, Notes of honey. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's not actually like thicker or anything. It's still very mm. liquidy. Although, I, you know, is there anything worse than the burn of whiskey going down at half the speed because it's honey? <laughs> <laughs> the bin. Uh, oh, Kelly. It would go really well with the bin. Kelly. It is yummy. Um, it is, to me, it is quite sweet. But it's but that offsets the, the burning. I think cider would go great to it. I think cider would go great with this. I am getting drunker though, so it, it like inevitably everything gets smoother, you know? Um, getting, I don't. No. <laughs> I mean, alcohol wise, not. Oh, because like I fall when I'm drunk, so like I'm not I'm crunchy. <laughs> and, but Actually, hold up before, before you show me what it is. Oh. oh. I don't know what it is. I don't, don't like it. You don't seem sold no. on whatever it is. Uh, hold on. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's rotten. Why is it? Oh, that is a fancy looking Ooh. bottle. What's that? Objection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Single barrel select. No, that's Barrel. He's <laughs> Pharrell's cousin, Barrel Williams. Oh, yeah, of course. Idiot. But of course. <laughs> Single Barrel Select Tennessee Whiskey is the signature offering in our single barrel collection with subtle notes of caramel, spice, bright fruit notes, and sweet aromatics. No, I'm calling this out. I've had enough of this now. We're four drinks in. This notes of, no, no. no. I can't notice that because my throat is on fire. But it's a cool bottle. Like... Great, yeah, cool. Yeah. That's like saying coffins have a good shape. You might have seen my eyes light up there, folks. It's because I just saw it's 45%. Mm -hmm. That's that nice, strong whiskey. Yeah. 45. 45, so we're going up, baby. Again. Oh, no. Single barrel coming at you. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> There it is. A little bit of water. Ah, do, do taste it first. I have tasted it. Okay. It is nice. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, that would put hair on your fucking arse. Jesus. Mmm. Caramel spice, bright fruit notes, and sweet aromatics. <gasps> All happening right now. <laughs> it's bit, a bit more fumey. You know, you kind of get the fume of the alcohol snarling up your nose, <laughs> just reaching its tendrils up there, and you're like, oh. Oh, this is strong. This is nice. <laughs> Dandrels. Oh, like, I can notice the difference. It's fuck it. It is stronger. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's stronger. Yeah. It tastes different. It tastes. This is gonna sound so fucking basic, but it tastes more whiskeyish. <laughs> like it's whiskier. This is like Tom Cruise sliding on a wooden floor. Some whiskey business. You get the dude that get down the ship. The London dude, the rock and roll. You know, it's like that. I'd actually have the whiskey again if it made you shut up. Yeah, I think if you're oh, going yeah. to be going for a premier whiskey, you're not going to go for the fancy Jack Daniels. You're going to go for something like maybe a scotch or a nice Irish whiskey yeah. or Talisker. Yeah. This is not an ad for any of those, but it's definitely not an ad for this. So. <laughs> it might be an ad for Irish people need help. And yeah. <laughs> I've had four drinks in the space of about half an hour and I feel okay. Again, I think some of the flavored ones work well. Yeah. It really kind of gives you the, the, the oomph of whiskey, but also giving you a bit of flavor. I think overall, and it's taken me a very long time and a lot of concentration and reflection to come to this point, but I, I, I think I like whiskey. 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more, why not like and subscribe and you can see more videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You have to yourself some merch, I was about to point out this now. We also have some nice new merch in our merch store. And if you want to see exclusive content, you can subscribe to our Patreon. So thanks very much and we'll see you in the next video.